Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Play series, uh, the Grow and Garden series. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make a gear shop. Um, this took me a second, I'm sorry. Uh, I had been trying to do some things with it, and it's a little bit more confusing than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more copying and pasting, but it really wasn't. So, um, I programmed it though. So it's gonna be really nice. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe button and turn post notifications. Um, I'm gonna let you know that uh, the kit is in the description. The model is in the description. Um, actually, not specifically. The kit is. You can't do a model because Roblox doesn't allow it, but um, it's on my Discord server. So, yeah, just going forward, getting right into this, you guys. Um, I always put all my uh, links in the description, so go and grab them. You could go to my profile um, and also find my uh, the game right here, which this is the game that you'll be editing, downloading, um, things like that. Um, but yeah, so feel free to do edit in studio or download. Now, if you want the model, which um, basically is like what I added to the game that you can add to yours, just go to my community. Um, the link's in the description again. And you can just download this Roblox file. Um, now, a lot of people get a little confused, though, too. Roblox... Uh, rbxl is the roblox like file like the whole roblox studio file and then this rbxm is just the model so that is a model that you can import um to do that you just go to the model tab and click this right here now um going into that uh i'm actually going to import my own but um i'm just going to show you kind of what i added now there's a honestly there's a lot um i also put this on the score uh this uh, the store if you want uh just the shop itself um but yeah so going into the kit now, um, there's a lot of stuff. This is the starter player scripts. Um, everything in here, I didn't update, but I think I updated the NPC handler and the proximity. I don't remember. So, but you should just be able to replace all of this stuff in here with yours. So whatever you had in starter player scripts, just go ahead and do that and just delete all this and put in the new one because um, that is everything in here. Uh, and actually, yeah, I'll, I'll go into that in a second. Uh, we'll go into everything shortly, but... Workspace, the shops, basically. I added the gear shop, gear shop sign, and then the character um, here. So I'll go into that as well. Um, and then replicated storage, I added a new thing called tool data, which we'll talk about, and then the tool models. Um, these are the videos I'm going to be making on the tool models or the tools. Um, I might make sprinklers and all that stuff, but that's going to have to be later because uh, I don't know. I don't know about it yet. It probably will happen, though, because I'm doing a watering can. So... Um, and then, uh, server script service, this is all the services and the server. So you're going to just, you know, get rid of whatever you had again, just replace it. Um, now if you do have some things that you changed in yours, like, like C names, things like that, I don't know. It depends if you know, if you've been programming and you've changed some of this, you're going to have to tweak a little bit. Um, but you shouldn't have to worry because your module with the C data and all that is what the main thing is. Um, but yeah, and then server storage tools. This is a folder, so just drag this into server storage. Um, so yeah, yours should look like this, you guys. I'll just uh, open these all up for you. And then the last thing was, yeah, starter GUI, added gear shop. So um, it should look like this if you want to just take a quick look. Um, you should have all your stuff here and um, replicated storage and um, lighting as well, too. Uh, but this is what it should look like. And yeah, what I meant is, you know, if you have the seed models and stuff. Um, but go watch that video I talk about how to make seeds and everything. So, all right. Okay, going to the gear shop. This is Maddie. I think I named her Maddie. But, <laughs> yeah, so we have the gear shop um, right out here. Now, inside here, we also have the TP part, which we'll use for the recall rent, recall wrench and um, that later. Uh, we have the gear shop sign, and we have the characters, and we added gear. And, of course, going in here, you can actually customize this if you want to um, using plugins or not. And then in the human repo, we have gear shop open shop and yeah maddie so you can change that if you'd like okay so going into the rest of this um yes uh let's talk about uh the tool models maybe um it's very simple stuff this is just like the seed models um so this is what's going to display in the shop so it's basically yeah whatever that is now um i think some people always get like confused like how do you make these it's actually very very simple um basically i we kind of we kind of go over this a little bit but like if i were to make something else so like i don't know what i'd want to do like I don't know, let's see what we, what's something we could do like a bat you know whatever <laughs> um you'd basically just get the model of a bat so no um you don't need to put in starter pack blah 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 and you can actually just like let's just say you duplicate this so go right here 
this is for making another model, we call it bat. Uh, but you don't want to do it unless uh, you have this as a thing. And there's a primary part. So it's actually just this handle right here. So you see how it has a handle. Delete everything in here. Um, put that right here. And then you could just call this primary part. And then you can actually just get rid of this one. Click the model right here and check this right there. And boom, you're done. And then you just put that into tool models. Uh, but that's just for showing on the screen. So that's nothing too crazy. Uh, but then when it comes to that too, when it makes, um, we're going into, I guess we'll go into server storage right now. When it comes to making the tool, it's the same thing. Um, so you just do a copy and duplicate. Now keep notice how I have a sound in each of them. The sound is basically what's going to be played. So <laughs> the hit bunch and we have watering can, we have a shovel and we have recall wrench. So, um, those are all the sounds that will get played, which I'll show you how they work. Um, but yeah, these are just tools and then, yeah, you can put them um, like tool tip if you want. So, um, oh yeah, recall run should be like TP back, um, or a TP to gear shop. Um, and then we have shovel, which would be remove your plants, trowel, move your plants. And then this would be, uh, water your plants, um, things like that. And then just make sure dropped, uh, requires handle can't drop this off. And, um, then you're good with server storage. So that's good. Um, yes. Yeah, so... I think I changed this if I'm right. And NPC handler is good. Yeah, it's just proximity prompts if I was right. Um, going into this, we have the gear shop. Oh yeah, here we go. So gear shop UI is what I changed. Uh, so you find the UI right here, gear shop button. You basically just make it visible, blah, blah, blah. But I also go down here. Uh, we go to right here, open shop, sell shop, and then open gear shop. So if it's not open shop or the sell shop, check that it's the open gear shop we're basically going to just say uh let me show you the gears you can set you can set this to anything you can be like oh i want to say like oh here are all the gears for the day and you could also do the sell shop thing where it like does the dialogue and it lets you like set talk to him for a second it's like oh show me all the oh yeah and honestly i kind of forgot there's daily quest oh shoot either way we could do that later so don't worry about that um but yeah so basically this shows the gear shop and toggles the prompts and does that dialogue uh but yeah so Oh yeah, that's harmless. Okay, so yeah, um, that's good. Now gear shop, a uh, little bit different. So same thing, of course. You know we have the restock. We have all these things in here. So all kind of looking the same. Um, you put the template into uh, the scrolling flame if you want to customize it. But as you can tell, it's kind of what happens, what it looks like. Um, but yeah, so once you're good with customizing how you like, you're good. But it's all the same stuff. So in here. Um, this is how it works. Uh, oh, that's funny. I didn't even know that. Okay. So we basically just changed all of the shop stuff to gear. But I think we had to tweak it a little bit. But yeah, so like remote events. I added, uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention this. Um, ooh, did I not do that? Tool models. Oh yeah, I did not do that. Uh, oh wait. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man. Let's just double check this real quick. <laughs> I think I missed the biggest thing. Um, replicated storage, put in modules. Yes, tool models. And then I forgot to do uh, uh, remote events. Okay. So we actually added a bunch of remote events. So I will have to put those in there as well. So yeah, you should have remote events uh, as well. Um, I will remind myself. Um, but yeah, so going back into this, guys. <laughs> Yeah, we just do the same thing. Uh, toggle by frame, everything in here. Um, reset gear shop on client event. We just go through here and we just do gear name, gear price, gear stock, rarity, all that stuff. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just same thing as normal. Stock amount, in stock, price. Um, you know, it says seed image, but it's okay because it's the same thing. Um, so nothing too crazy there. I think the main like scripting portion was just all of these services. So we changed, we changed a lot of stuff. Um, I will go into a good amount of it for you guys. Um, I'll just do data service so we can show you later. Um, we added a new activator. It's called gear activator. Um, and that should be it. So seed shop that we changed data is we didn't change. So seed shop inventory and gear activator. Uh, let's just go in gear activator. Of course, this is the gear scripting tool that goes onto the tool. Um, so Basically, we just check when it gets activated. Um, so this is where we're going to be programming all the tool stuff um, So in the next videos. But yeah, tool gets added. Find the name. Play a sound. Um, we check for the player plot and the mouse C-frame just first before we check and do all the scripting. Just because 
most of them require the plot and the C-frame of your mouse. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, when you click, basically, you click that tool, whatever you're using, it's going to do these print statements for now. And it is going to play the music, uh, the sound, but that's about it. Um, and we also just uh, do this. But, yeah, we're just checking the tool name. So, tool name equals watering can, blah, 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 shovel. And then we just do the, the rest of the programming, which we'll go into. Um, and then inventory service. Yeah, so we changed a lot over here. Um, give fruit. We didn't touch. Uh, remove item. We did touch, I think. Um, yeah, I came to just checking uh, if it's tool. So, like, yeah, right here we did cool tool name attribute. So we're just checking and making sure that the we get the attribute name. And if it equals the item name, we're going to remove it. Um, but we also want to check that uh, the found the item count is less than or equal to zero. Um, create new tool. Uh, basically, we're just going to go through this and uh, create a new tool. So this is the more of the portion that we created. Um, basically, it checks if it's a gear. If it's a gear, um, then we are going to uh, go through the tool data, which we made. And um, make sure it's a gear, of course, in this uh, tool storage, because uh, we want to make sure that's a thing. And we just clone it, set the data dot count, same thing as normal, and it says one or two or three. Um, I kind of forgot to mention, you can also like put a space here and go like uses left, maybe if you want. Um, that's up to you, but I wouldn't touch it for now. But yeah, name count is gear. Those are what we said is the attribute. Um, and then yeah, we set it to the player's backpack. We I use the gear activator and the same thing. Now, we do return this, so if it's a nice new tool and it's just the gear, we're going to return it and end it. Um, if it's a seed, which we check, um, but if it's not a seed or it's not a gear, which this goes into the fruits, then we do this whole uh, programming thing right here. Um, and we also upgraded inventory updated, so same thing again. We just check if it's a seed. If it's a seed and it has the same name, blah, 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 blah. We found the item in the inventory. We update the name. If not, and it's a brand new tool, it's a brand new seed, we create the new tool. Um, that same thing goes for a gear. And then if not, we handle making the seed, uh, fruits, um, which goes back into this little uh, section of function right here. Um, yeah, that's about that. Seed shop service. Okay, so this is kind of the bigger thing. Oh, I set this to 20. You guys should set this to 300. <laughs> um, I will do that too in the main game for you guys. But 20 right now, just so I can test out the stocking and everything. But you need to change this i probably should just make a little uh little configuration thing that just shows how far and how fast for things to just restock but i'll do that later um but yeah so going into that we just kind of uh made a few other things so plant seed no 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 give seed no format time yeah so gear stock all this stuff so we, we made basically a whole nother thing of uh, like seed stock, gear stock, same thing. Um, and what I mean by that is there actually is the settings for this. So you can actually change it to common, uncommon, rare, legendary. It's it's the same thing. Because the, the gears and the seeds, they are all, they have the same rarities, blah, blah, blah. Um, but there's just chance based. So we basically just combine the two. So as you can tell, we have the gear stock. Um, and then we have the get current stock, get time, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then we do the same thing. Uh, you know, she's seed shop, gear shop timer, uh, fire the clients. You know, technically I could have just like done the same one, but I just for the names and sakes and making sure everything's okay. Um, that's what we do. And then yeah, buy gear, buy crop, um, also the same thing going here. Now, see, as you can tell, I went and just did give seed. Um, honestly, same thing. I could probably just keep it the same way, but yeah, give seed actually is still as getting, uh, as give tool because... We're just double checking that the data is loaded and everything and that we have see so yeah, if sound blah 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 see count added basically. Um and if not, we just do the inventory update. Because that's something you check and do. Um but that is about it for the services. Now um making these, sorry, when we're back into making the tools. Um so we talked about making the the tools themselves. We didn't talk about making the tool data. So tool data is just exactly like C data. We have it in order. Um, so basically if you were to add the bat, like I had, you would just go bat. Uh, but you gotta make sure these are the way you want them to be in order and stuff, I guess you could say, but yeah, so bat, blah, blah, blah. Um, then also you will want to check, but so going into this, this is the last one, if I'm right, no layout order four, layout order two, and then order one. okay, so, uh, four would be trial. So yeah, five, whatever. So bat would be made 
And then um, you just put in all the dev product IDs, the gear type. Oh, this is something we don't really need anymore, but same thing. So we go bat, uh, layout order. This would be five because it's going to be the last one. Name's going to be bat. Price, you can do whatever, thousand. Um, and then rarity. So same thing as the rarity. You can do like legendary. Uses, uh, five, same thing. Uh, this is another thing that I haven't really programmed correctly, but... For now, it's okay because, you know, we can come back to it, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that. So, because actually it should just be every time you buy it, you get one use. So that's kind of why I need to fix up. <laughs> but either way, um, that is about it for that. So I think we could probably just go ahead and test this. Um, I'll actually fix the files too, though, because, yeah, it shouldn't be 30 seconds. But as you can tell, it's a little bit of a walk um, just because we don't have the recall wrench. But, yeah, so... Going into the thing, same thing. Um, so the seed shop hasn't restocked yet, so I actually can't open the seeds yet. Um, so we gotta wait a second till those restock, just because it will it won't let you get the seeds until it's restocked. Um, so let me show you the gear shop. Um, basically, it's gonna look like this. So as you can tell, we have all the models. Uh, it's working, perfect. Um, but yeah, so hit purchase, you get a recall wrench. Um, I do probably should change this as well. Um, but yeah, this is prints all your data, so you can see, and I'll actually show you guys what I mean by this, but we're just gonna get a bunch of recall shunts. Oh, maybe a little too much. I was gonna show you the other sounds, but oh wait, I can get a watering can. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, it works great. So we have a watering can, we have a recall wrench, um, all that stuff. So, you know, use it, it's gonna play the sound, um, water the plants, blah, blah, blah. Shops have been restocked. Sorry, it's doing it very fast, but Oh yeah, and also looking this into the, the player data and stuff. See, as you can tell, we have all this kind of things and it shows you like the counts. Um, and then recall wrench. So, you know, every time you do it, it just plays back and all those kind of things. So yeah, that's like basically it, you guys. Um, just kind of teleports you, does those things. Um, it's the gear shop though. This is, this is what the gear shop is. It's just about giving you the gears um, and also the daily quest, which we'll probably have to come back to. But uh, yeah, for now that works great um but i hope you guys did enjoy like this kind of tutorial um i think i covered everything hopefully uh nothing too crazy hopefully <laughs> but you guys just let me know if you have any questions and there's more to this of course um there's always things we can do um but yeah i just set this back to 300 because that's the time and then i'll go and fix the other stuff which we can worry about oh and then data service which i will have to as well get rid of this print file uh, but yeah, okay, you guys. Oh, yeah, and then uh, of course if you do always get confused template is how much you can start cash with So just change that based on your likings, but um, yeah, you guys I uh, hope you did enjoy this tutorial and um, Leave comments and you know anything below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye